Hey, Mike, you were talking about VFT. What What is that? Uh, VFT stands for Veterans in Film and Television. Oh. And uh, it's a ne- essentially a networking organization or peer support group for vets that work in the entertainment industry. And, oh, very um, cool. Yeah, it's, a, it's been around for just about a year now. Huh. Uh, we have over a thousand members. And thanks to VFT, I was actually able to meet Rydell and, and Trevor here, who That's are right. both a part of it. Who, we're who started it? Uh, I'm a co-founder along with an um, Army veteran named Kyle Houseman Stokes. Oh, very good. And um, I, I know you guys, at, what, how long have you guys been a part of uh, Since the beginning. Since the oh, beginning? Since the beginning. I, I don't even know. <laughs> I, I think when I came in, it was like 300, 400 members at that point in time. Yeah, well, so it's, still it's gonna new. grow though for sure. I mean, that's yeah, that's we got guys oh, yeah, on the amazing. East Coast across amazing. the country. It's really cool. I, I I just really appreciate it because I've, if it wasn't for VFT, I wouldn't have been able to meet these guys right. and, and a bunch of other yeah. vets in the industry. And and it's really cool to see everyone collaborate on each other's projects and mm-hmm. reach out to each other and support each other. So um, it's been great, and we're and we're becoming a nonprofit. Well, I, I know there's a lot of stunt guys who are um, you know veterans. So I mean, there's a whole pool right there for you to dip right into. You'd be surprised who's a veteran in the entertainment industry. A lot yeah, of people really. don't even realize when they're watching TV or or, um, or movies mm. who on screen is an actual veteran. And there's a lot of vets, of course, that are part of the crew as well that make right, that right. stuff yeah, happen. Yeah, yeah. Front of the camera and behind the camera. Yeah. yeah. Well, great skills to offer. Yeah. 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 But there's a lot of us coming into the industry right now. Company, fall out. You're going home. <laughs> <laughs> and here he comes. There's the man. All right. Hi, Rick. What a grand entrance. <laughs> well, I guess that means it's time to get down to business. Welcome to Veterans Nation. I'm Mike Dowling, uh, former Marine, along with Trevor Scott, former Army, our Gulf War vet, Rydell Danzy in the back. We've got Michelle Ladd here filling in for Kelly Smith, who is off with her Air Force Reserve Unit. Thanks for joining us, Michelle. Thank you. And welcome Rick Seaman, our Vietnam veteran uh, our, and co-producer. Co-producer. Trevor. Who are we dedicating today's show to? Well, Mike, today's show is dedicated to the U.S. Navy Seabees. There they are. We build and fight with all our might. All right. Good to go. Great outfit, Seabees. Mm. You need it, they build it. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to kick out of that name, CB. Yeah, yeah. yeah. They, they've been around. Now, ooh, that's interesting. Maybe, I, maybe I'm letting the cat out of the bag here, but I'm going to give a little hint to our Veterans History Quiz question that no one's answered correctly yet. And the hint is nothing. Figure it out. <laughs> okay? And what was the question That's again? There's no hint. The question was, good point there. Good Figure point. that out too. They'll never guess. Figure out the answer, figure out the question. The question that ought to be worth double. Here's how you get to the question. You go to our, our main channel page, which you're watching us on, and click Headline News. The icon is a picture of a kid with a newspaper. He says, hey, vets, it's there, that little icon. Click that, and the Veterans History Quiz is always one of the first two or three, or sometimes number one, news uh, flashes, new, news headlines. So the Veterans History Quiz, and this is what it says. The question is, what was the first actual military operation in Vietnam ever? The country then known as Indochina. That was the question. What was the first ever military operation in Vietnam, Indochina, French Indochina, whatever you want to call it, that country. In the actual country. In the country. Not Laos, okay. not Cambodia, what is the, what is now Vietnam. And, and keep in mind, the hint is nothing, right? Pardon me? The hint is nothing, right? The hint is no, Well, <laughs> the hint has already been given right here today. Uh. So, there it is. It's, you know, this is, mm. this is uh, PSYOPs now. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> All right. All right. <laughs> well, we're going to come back to that answer eventually. And uh, Michelle, business, what do we got today? Yes. Well, President Obama has recently signed into law House Resolution 4310, the National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2013. 
The president has explained that he does not agree with all of the points of the new act, but as president, he is only authorized to sign bills in full or not at all. Therefore, despite the president's disagreements in part with the act, the president's news release says he signed it in an effort to move our military and national defense forward in a timely fashion. For more details and an inside view of the president's approvals and non-approvals, simply go online and look up HR 4310. And that's House Resolution 4310. Thanks, Michelle, for that. And uh, from the Veterans Network News Desk, we have this. The White House's plans for the fiscal 2014 budget are expected in early February, but a Congress resolution funding government operations expires March 27th. The legislative action means that troops, veterans, and their families shouldn't see any disruption to government programs and services this month, but next month could be a different story. Without a long-term budget, the government never finalized its plans for the current year, even though fiscal 2013 started back in October. Uh, with the continuing deal, and with sequestration still looming, veterans and their families are still in much the same place as they were at the beginning, at the end of 2012, which is waiting to see what the political infighting means for their livelihoods and the entitlements they earned while defending the United States of America. Not great news. No, well, I guess we'll find out. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's kind of a wait and watch thing, and uh, you know. I think we all, and I mean all 23 million of us living veterans, we have to take a small step back and then take a big step forward and start making some noise. I mean, uh, hey. I, I, I don't know about taking a step back. I mean, I think well, maybe we should take a step, stand small our step, ground. A small <laughs> step back to think, right? Prepare, and then. Baby step back. A baby Maybe. step back and an elephant step forward and, 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 and step right on their heads, you know? Because I don't care who you are there in Congress. I don't care if you're left. I don't care if you're right. I don't care if you're up and I don't care if you're down. You're not going to solve your problems at the expense of our veterans who have put you there in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if, if, if you want to use us to fight your battles in Congress, you're in for a fight like you have never seen before because you do not want to mess with us. Period. Look, and I get that sacrifices need to be made, especially during tough times, but it seems as if they always go to veterans first to cut it, to cut benefits or stop the programs and things like that. Yeah. And vets I mean, have already made a huge sacrifice. Well, yeah, we, 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 right. we, we've been fighting budgets for, for since World War II, but now... The whole country's running out of money, so here we go. It's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to go deeper into the uh, the budgets for veterans if, if we don't right. stop. We have to stop it. Right, but vet veterans count on these benefits. You know, you can't not pay someone for a job they've already done. It's right. just correct. It's, pa it's part of the program. Right. You know, you 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 get the guy in the service, but it doesn't end there. Mm. It doesn't end till the day he is put away in the ground. That's it. And then you might have his wife to take care of, too, <laughs> after that. That's the way it works, folks. Congress, yes, that's the way it works. And if you didn't know that, you better learn it quick. <laughs> yeah, and now that we have more vets in office, you know, hopefully we're going to have a little bit more of a voice, you know? Right. Mm. And, um, yeah. and not have to fight, feel like we're all alone in this battle. We're going to have people with, with us and for us out there on Capitol Hill. Solid representation. Yeah. That's what we need, veterans fighting for veterans. Absolutely. Mm. You got that right. Get it fixed, boys. We shall return in a moment. National Veterans Foundation is meeting the needs of veterans and their families and is continuously focused on expanding their efforts to provide real solutions for these American heroes. For more information about National Veterans Foundation, contact them today or visit their website at nvf.org. And we're back. Rick, I have a question about the poll on combat in video games. How's it looking? Oh, the poll, yes. Uh, well, we've got we've got a lot of votes in, and it's still running. It's been up a you know fairly fairly short while, you know, not too long. And uh, the best part of our poll is they can leave comments, and some of the comments are really interesting that we're getting. So, uh, where where can people go to look at that poll? Okay. Watch my hands now. You're looking at us. If you go down there on the lower left 
of the main page that you're on, you will finally come to the bottom row. There's an icon of our poll image. You click that and you get to the poll. You can vote. You can vote yes, no, plus you can leave a comment. All right, very good. Yep. But what if they're watching us on the uh, archives page? Okay, if they've come onto this show through archives, then that's a different page. They will have to click back to the main channel guide page and go to the poll icon on the main channel guide page, which is the front page for All Veterans right. Network. All right, well, I want to stay off the, the depressing budget talks. Anybody got anything new? Anything fun? Anything fun. I got, hey, I got something fun I've been working on. Okay. And I'm, let's announce it right now. I think it's a good time. Uh, it's a new game because, you know, I like games. This one is music-related. Now, because music's, music's fun. Everybody likes music. Fun. Yeah. Fun is music's fun. fun. We know this. It's fun. Okay, so <laughs> it's not really a, tr a music trivia game. No, it's more like a, a, a music opinion survey. Here's how it goes. Vets, email us what you think to be the best year ever in music. I don't care how far back you want to go. The best year ever in music. And I want you to back that up with your top four songs from that year that you feel made Be that best, best year, year or best decade. No, no best year. Oh, that's kind of specific. Um, I mean, decades, that's too easy. Let, let's, let's get serious here. You know, vets, vets like music. And uh, so here's the thing. What we'll do is, here's how you win. You email us at info at veteransnetwork.org, info at veteransnetwork.org. You give us your vote. Give us the year and your top four songs of that year. Whichever year ends up being the most voted on popular year, everybody that picked that year will win a $25 gift card to the service or store of their choice. Hmm, I'm in. I'll make my picks so tonight. So let's just say, for instance, if, if, if the winning year is 1988, right? Anybody that voted 88 gets a $25 gift card if that's the most popular right. year. All right. Yeah. That's a hard decision. Mm. But it gives you, yeah, you know, gives something to work on. And with the internet, you can do research. You can do all kind of fun stuff, you know. It's got to be in the early 90s. See, we'll see. He's voting already. <laughs> He's voting already. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's how you win. And uh, So are you going to play the music on air then? Good point. What we'll do is whenever we get entries in, mm -hmm. we'll take your number one song for your year and we'll play that as our outro song at the end of each uh, segment, which nice. we always do. Mm -hmm. Nice. Could be a little have you preliminary. Picked, have you picked your year yet? I haven't. I haven't even thought about it yet, but I will now start thinking about you guys. I'm guessing it's going to involve now. Doobie Brothers. That's my guess. The Doobie yeah. Brothers. I mean, the Doobie Brothers are the official band of Veterans I'm Network. They have been for six years. <laughs> yeah, but, who is your favorite band? I'm just oh, curious. Oh, wait, I mean, my, my wife and I were personal friends of the, most of the guys in the Doobie Brothers, but uh, I've got, I've got a, a whole handful of favorites, you know. And they're not all 60s, 70s, just because I'm the old guy. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I like a lot of the stuff from the 90s. Yeah? I think really? There's some great stuff in the 90s. Oh, my God. We yeah. like the 90s. And the early 2000s. Well, yeah. yeah I, like Wayne. I thought I saw a Backstreet Boys <laughs> album. No, you didn't. You will not see a Backstreet Boys album in my backseat or in my front seat. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, uh, no, I mean, I, I like, uh, oh, jeez, now you're going to make me think. I mean, I, I like Red Hot Chili Peppers. Not that good. Not that good. You know, I mean, we're talking 90s. Uh, oh, <laughs> never mind. Are great. I like Chili Peppers. I, I don't, don't want to give anybody any ideas here. <laughs> well, there it is. Your source of fun and entertainment right. right here. Okay, so what do you think, Mike? Uh, great. I think it's a great contest and and i'm certainly going to be voting on this on a year all right as, as uh who used to say it regis philbin let's play <laughs> <laughs> all right what do you think mike uh, michelle 
Yep. yep. There there is. Is. Good. Thank you all. Right now. Good job, guys. Mm. Hey. See you next time, Bets. Veterans Nation. <laughs> <laughs>